27 new jobs have been secured with the opening of a $3 million expansion of a Hayfield timber mill in Victoria's Gippsland region. The Deputy Premier put the gears in motion this morning on a major upgrade to Victoria's largest hardwood sawmill. New machinery will allow the plant to take lower grade short wood and turn it into set length window, door and stair components. It enables uh, random length lumber that is, might be difficult to sell, particularly in some sizes, and turns it into a product that, that is very saleable and competes against imports. With business flourishing at Hayfield, Vince Hurley says the government's push for long-term timber contracts gives security to the industry. That's good for us and it enables us to have the confidence to invest. Although in Far East Gippsland the industry is on shakier ground with Victoria recently losing a contract to supply a large New South Wales mill. Here at Hayfield of course they employ uh, what will now be about 225 people. And further east, yes, there are challenges, uh, but those challenges will be faced and they'll be met. That historically has been the case and uh, it'll continue in the future. Meanwhile, the government will contribute to almost a $5 million project that will see Gibson's ground spread turn waste destined for landfill into commercial grade compost at its Dutson site. And the purchase of land for a new sales specialist school has been finalised with settlement reached on a Princess Highway block on the outskirts of sale. The project itself will get underway once all the work has been completed by the uh, finalisation of the planning. And then, of course, it's important that the school community itself participates in the design process. Tom Kelly, Win News.